You bastard! Colonel, <laughs> love you. Calm down. JR! Sue Ellen's looking for you. This is the kid that was so rude to me in the office. What is she, a relative? Well, I don't know. She says she is. Jamie, why didn't you tell me Mrs. Stone dropped it in my office? I forgot because this woman has no manners. Well, it's your manners that are in question here. Mrs. Stone is a business associate of mine. Is that the way you conduct business here in Dallas? By hugging and kissing a married man? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I've seen your kind before. <laughs> oh, yeah? Where has a kid like you ever seen anyone like me? Those Alaskan saloons where my daddy used to drink all the time were filled with females like you. Filthy mouth brat! I've had it with you. You're not a Ewing, you're a troublemaker. You don't belong here. Pack up your stuff and get the hell out. I'll show you who's a Ewing and who belongs here. Really? Well, Mary Lee, I see you and Jamie have made up. Planning a little midnight swim later? Shut up, JR. <laughs> Jamie, you sure found yourself some prime company. I sure prefer to yours. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you know what they say. Losers tend to flock together. Ah, like the little lady you're with, huh? Cliff. <laughs> I've always heard you're a big spender, JR. Tell me, how much did it cost you to have her throw me over? Oh, that was for free. All she had to do was hang around with you for a while. Oh, is that so? Well, you're welcome to her. Considering the number of nights she spent at my place, you can have my leftovers. You miserable worm. <laughs> well, you'll find out just how much better you were with me than with what you got there. <laughs> that was a rotten thing to do. I should have known you that you'd throw a sneak punch. Why don't you stay out of it? You caused all this trouble to begin with. Don't start with me. I can hit a lot harder than he does. You bastard. Now, Cliff, let's stop this. Yeah, Cliff, he's not worth it. You're right, he's not. I'll tell you what, why don't you keep this and try and hustle somebody else with it? You owe me $10,000, dude. Good luck, dude. Now, look, that money don't mean squat to you. You just hand it over and go on back to your fancy house while you're still in one piece. You are absolutely perfect. No, I'm not. No, I've got faults. You heard that Jack sold me his share of Yoon oil, didn't you? No. You know, Cliff Barnes, you are the sorriest excuse for a man that I have ever met. Well, I'll second that. Oh, get lost, JR. I'm talking to my wife. Good Lord, you're not going back with this imbecile, are you? With all the people at this barbecue, how'd I wind up with you two? I was wondering about that. You're a loser, Barnes. You always were, you always will be. Ah, no, you're gonna be the loser as soon as your new daddy sells out to West Star. You shut your mouth out here. No, you're gonna lose your whole company. Cliff. All right, Barnes, that's about it. You rock! Hold it, JR! Come on, come on. Hey, he's not gonna hey, Bobby! Did you forget something? Yes. You. <laughs> what do you mean? Cheap little trick like you think you're doing latching on to my father. He's a thousand times too good for you. Tommy, you're hurting my arm! Shut up and listen. You're nothing but a cheap little opportunist. Go, Tommy, you're wrong. I told you to shut up. Now, if we don't listen, we don't learn, do we? Huh? Just look at yourself. One look says it all. Now, I know what my duty to my father is. It's to protect him from trash like you. So if you know what's good for you, you cut your little vacation short, and you're clear out of here. You understand? Yes. Yes, I understand. Good. 
Yeah, well, gotta run. I'm gonna keep Dad waiting. Just remember what I said. Don't stick around here. I'll make you sorry you ever laid eyes on me. Who have you ganging up on me? There's a lot of questions I want answered. Ask them. Why were you the only one to make it back here? What happened to your guides? How come you just happened to be down by the river? You know, I don't think I like what you're getting at. Well, that's just too bad, because I don't like you. I don't trust you. I haven't trusted you from the moment you showed up. You know what you can do with that trust? Yeah. Time's over. Let's go for broke. Go down, John Ross. He won't be able to do that, JR. It's getting late, JR. You ready? One, two. Oh. What's the matter, JR? Hurt? Well, I guess it's time to pay the piper. All right, if you're going to do it, go ahead. Let my boy go first. Don't let him see his daddy die. What kind of man do you take me for? I wouldn't dream of letting him watch you die. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to kill you. No, sir. What I'm going to do is kill him and let you watch him die. No. No! I read the Bible, J.R. Do you remember that? Remember how the sins of the fathers shall be visited upon their sons? Don't do this! I'm going to let you watch your son Pay for what you did. Don't do this, Calhoun. I, I get anything. Oh. 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 Well, looky here. It must be Cowboys Night Out. Aren't you kind of taking a chance, wandering around without all that heavy artillery? Got all I need right with me. Would you care to find out? Yeah. I might just want to do that. These are them boys I was uh, telling you about today, Bob. Yeah, I think I could have guessed that. There's three for you and three for me. At least it'll be a fair fight. Seems fair to me. Another county heard from. Are you a Ewing, too? Why don't you come on over and ask me yourself? Well, I just might want to do that. You first. And him. What? They're both mine. <laughs> How did it ever come to this? I only did it for you, Dad. I was only trying to help. No, I, I understand. I do. You, you just went about it the wrong way. You needed protection. You needed help against scum like Bobby Ewing. I, I've talked to the authorities about it. You're going to get the help. You're going to get the right treatment. There's only one cure for me, and that's to blow Bobby Ewing's head off. I can't let you do that. Now, Dermot, put the gun down. Nobody's gonna come between us, Dad. Okay. Not anymore. All right. It's just you and me. Get the Ewing, they get them all. Drop the gun, Tom. Let me go. The police are outside. No way. They're outside. It's over. I, I begged them to let me bring you out. I don't want to see you get hurt. No, no, no. no. Tommy, you let, made let, that let go. go. Can't you see that? Let me go. Oh, 
God. Don't let this happen. Dad? We get an ambulance. You, you better be okay. I love you, Daddy. I love you. You matches! Now I'm gonna kill you! Uh, what kind of wine are you drinking? I want to treat you guys to another bottle. I'd rather you didn't do that, Cliff. No, I insist, please. Yeah, need a wine steward. Wine steward? Cliffy, the lady said, no, thank you. Why don't you go back to your own table? Oh, but you see, she doesn't know what she wants. Sometimes she runs hot, sometimes she runs cold. Mostly cold. Is that a fact? Sit down, slime ball. My fault, please. Uh, go back to your dinners. I'm, I'm sorry. Cliffy, I'm terribly sorry. Are you all right? Come on, honey. Time to go. See you around, Cliffy. of our lives, and it doesn't end. Wait, 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 what's going on? Your mother's in there crying her heart out. Every day, dying a little more because of you. Oh, I swear to God, I'll kill you. Oh, oh, Titan! Titan! Give me about an hour to stop. We don't have an hour. But what I do have is a present for you. You do? Yes, I do. Right in here. <gasps> it's in honor of a memorable Viennese evening. <laughs> what is it? Well, I got it right here. Hang on a second. Would you stop? Don't rush it. This, <laughs> would, no, I'm not going to give it to you if you get that greedy. I'm not going to give it to you at no, all. No, come on. No, I'm not. Come what on, now. What, come on. You waited all this time. I made it special. I'm not going to give it to you. Don't get it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> My present! 